Hey folks, new project here. Um, when I bought this trailer, I hadn't really given it a lot of thought about the clearance. And uh, your standard cargo trailers come with those 4-inch drop axles, and if I had to do it all over again, I would have ordered this trailer with the straight axles. And that's going to give me a clearance problem. If I'm going to take this thing boondocking out west, I'm going to be on some forest roads and whatnot, I don't want to have a clearance problem. So let me go over and kneel down. I'll show you what I got hanging underneath my trailer, and uh, we'll go from there. As you can see, I've got my tanks hanging down there. And uh, if I get on some uh, uneven terrain, I could possibly bottom out. So, you can see back there, that four inch drop, drop axle. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I've bought a Dexter uh, kit, and I'm gonna take that, uh, those springs and move them up on top of the axle instead of below. And that'll give me about five inches of clearance. Uh, for the trailer itself, the axle's still going to be where it's at right now, but I don't think that'll be a problem. But I need to get these uh, these tanks up a little bit. Here is the kit here. I bought it from Trailer.com, uh, and they give you everything you need right here, bolts and whatnot. And uh, there's probably plenty of YouTube videos that shows this process, but uh, I'll go ahead and do another one. But anyways, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this uh, Dexter kit, and we're going to raise the trailer up four to five inches. So now that you know what the problem is, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get my jack out, and we're going to jack this trailer up. And I've got jack stands, and so we're going to jack it up and uh, get started. It's cold out here. It's uh, let me see what temperature it is out here. I know I'm cold. I had to go get my beanie. It's 28 degrees out here. So I've got the uh, the trailer jacked up. It's solid on jacks. I've got the wheels off. Now the next step is to pull the axles out. Now the only hiccup I've got is the wiring. Let's go over and take a look. So as you can see. My wiring comes down the frame of the trailer and comes out right here. And I've got uh, the two wires, the two leads going to the brakes. I can't, uh, this has been sealed up, uh, so I can't really tear this apart. I think it'll be just as easy to just cut these two wires here and then just butt splice them back together later with some uh, uh, shrink wrap uh, butt connectors. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these two right here. I've got to do the same thing on the uh, on the rear axle. Then I can drop these axles and move them into the shop where I can weld the perches on right here. So unfortunately, I don't see any really other way to do it. I just hate cutting into wiring. Boy, I just hate it, but I don't. I don't see an alternative. So we'll do that one, and then we'll go back and do the other one. Believe me, it hurts to do this. I hate cutting into the wire. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, unhook this axle and get it out of here. That didn't work. Uh, I need to put some uh, penetrating oil on there, let it soak for a little bit. I guess they're kind of rusted on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I sprayed some WD-40 on there, and I haven't waited very long, so I uh, thought I'd get started. So 
I got out a, uh, a breaker bar and breaker bar and a little cheater bar. Bolt just bolt just snapped. Not very strong hardware, I reckon. But anyways, so I'll let it soak for a little bit while longer and try another one and. I might end up having to break them all off. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> the uh, first axle off and uh, got it up on a work platform where I can uh, do my welding and, and get it set up. Let me explain to what the next step is. This is the uh, it's called a uh, axle perch and my next step is to adjust this so it's perfectly parallel uh, to the bottom perch and also so this is uh, setting flat on the axle like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, uh, and weld it to make sure uh, you don't have to weld it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and weld it, uh, make sure it doesn't come loose. So that's the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and get the wire brush out and I'm going to clean up the metal where I'll be doing some welding and uh, we'll see about getting it adjusted properly. <laughs> 